Here we go, boys. Round one. We got Team Round on the east. They're all in red and yellow capes over here. And then we got the West team, Team Storm, coming. Oh, they got a quarter staff. They win. Where's their team? Where's Team Storm? Here we go, boys. We're getting started. Oh, we got a Glacial coming in from Team Storm on the west end. Yo, this Infernal's getting lit up right now. Nilfgaard taking in with a hammer. Oh, the healer's going down. Disgraceful needs to get out of there. He's going to get dropped by this hammer. Oh, my goodness. This is just mayhem right now. I can't tell who's, who's who. Holy shit. Ooh, first one from Team Storm goes down. Team Riot's still going strong, but they have a couple getting low. Two from Nilfgaard are down now. Team Storm is getting taken to the town right now. Round goes down. Oh, he's really close. He finally drops, and the healer drops. It's three versus three right now. Oh, this is anybody's match. No, I take that back. Team Storm has lost two. Three now. It's a 3v2. However, Roud's about to lose another one. 2v2 now. We got a Great Hammer and a Great Axe versus a Warbow. And a Quarterstaff. Who's going to win? The Warbow's doing damage. Oh, Team Roud. Down to a 2v1 now. Down to a 2v1. Team Storm. Can he pull this out? If he gets this if he gets this Warbow down, he has a chance to take on this Quarterstaff 1v1. Is he going to be able to take this guy down, though? The Quarterstaff tries to uh, channel a Mana Potion, but he cancels it. This Warbow, he's getting really low. He's got one more hit. He is down. It's a 1v1 now. Team Roud versus Team Storm. Who's going to come out on top? We have a Great Axe versus a Quarterstaff right now. Holy shit. This is getting intense. Sorry, Yusuke. I will stand still. Yo. Team Storm, he's running away with that Great Axe. Can Team Roud's Quarterstaff take him down? Yo, this 1v1. Does he have the spin coming up? The spin could be close. I don't think he has the mana. Yo, this is really close. The quarter staff and the great axe. He's going to come out on top. I think this great axe, he's going to... He doesn't need to run. He needs to fight. He needs to fight. Can he get away? I don't think he's going to be able to. Yo, this so great close. axe. One more attack. Oh my goodness, Team Round! Holy shit, what a great match for the first round. <laughs> yeah, my casting career. <laughs> Whatever. I'm fucking terrible. I don't even know what to like. Oh, that great hammer axe thing doing work! Oh Good my God. job! I don't understand my world! <laughs> We got match two underway right here, boys. We have Team Fuss versus Team Eljock. We got a Nilfgaard team versus EXE. I'll try and hold still this time, everybody. Here we go. We got the Warbow doing a little bit of damage. He's the heavy Warbow. They're going to try and target him. Oh, the curse goes in. The hammer goes in deep because the four-man's done. Their whole team is being pushed back. Fuss is on his own right now. He's getting targeted a little bit, but he is very tanky. Ice Blue, a little bit out of position. Wow, that engage from Nilfgaard was amazing. But this disengage by EXE, they're holding out a little bit. They're trying to get some flasks going off. Their Infernal goes down quick. Now the focus is on the crossbow. Are they going to be able to take this crossbow down? Is there an ice block remaining? I think his ice block's down. Another one for EXE is down. Nilfgaard almost loses one, but he gets the ice block off. Eljock looking low well with that one-hand hammer with the light armor, I believe. He's doing damage right now. I like it. Nilfgaard getting a point two curse down, doing a little bit of damage. EXE's Ice Blue goes down. He's a heavy. He dropped like a fly, though. Nilfgaard still got four members down to EXE's two, I believe. Or is Nilfgaard still at five? Nilfgaard has five. This is a this is becoming a white fest right now. 2v5. Fuss and his healer. How much work can they do? Is their healer almost zoomed? He's down to 80 mana. They might be able to drain this out if they can get this mana down. Because you're going to block their skill shot. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm not paying attention. Yo, they're trying to focus this healer now. Fuss trying to do as much damage as he can, but I just don't think he has enough to pressure this healer. He was getting pretty close. 
Are they going to get this healer right now? The healer is running away. He's got a lot of room to go. This is what I like about this map. We got a lot of room to go here, boys. He's got tons of defensive stats right now. The healer is healing up for Nilfgaard's team, so they got tons of life left. Fuss, he's going well. He pops the stone skin. He goes down. It's just the healer left now. Well fought there. Well fought. Eljok's team with the Nilfgaard's. They end up taking the win there. Well played. All right, everybody. We're going to get started with the uh, the last match in round one. Team Fights versus Team Outplay. Yours truly playing here, boys. Let's see what we can uh, get going on. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yep. What team is this? I'll play. Is that a guild? You're in the chat. Uh, do you know yeah, yeah. Nah, it's no guard as well. Let's go, boys! Stay spread out. This area right here, just south of us, has the most room for us to move around. Let's make sure we get a camera angle. Yep, they're coming up from the north side of this rock right here. This is what we want. They have Going a .2 curse, a warbow, yeah, and yeah. a crossbow, and a holy. Yep, holy. I want any of the casters. I'm going to ice block this damage Kidding right me. here. I got all that ice block. Light back, light back. I'm going on Rich uh, Rubon right now. Rubon. Switching over to Kylo DPS. Switching over to Poets. Come. On come. I'm adding up. I'm big on come right now. Big on come. Comes down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was bad. Yeah, Roy. Get that damage down. Get on the uh, the Warbo. Dude, Warbo. Don't Warbo. Don't hit Fuss. Yeah, don't hit Fuss. He's, uh, he's spectating. Shooting Aurora. I'm going on Poets. He's going to drop down. Poets is down. Rubon's left. Is anyone yeah, too low that I'm they need to get I'm back? Pretty low. You're good. All right. Last one. Two more down. Let's go on Hick, uh, Hickwops first. Hickwops in the back, guys. Go on Hickwops. He's ice blocked. I'm going to ice block this damage right now. She's going down. Good stuff, guys. Raw. Well played, Alpay. All right, team fights with the victory. We like it. Nice job, silver. Round one, guys. Here we go. I'll stay in the back end this time. They're taking out the boar here. This is a good call. Taking out the boar before they go into the match here. Don't want anything to run into here. Good, good that these boars spawn at, the, at this time. That could have been that could have been devastating for this team. Those those forty damage ticks on the lights, is pretty big. Can change the tide of a battle. Interrupting those casts. All right, Team Rod taking the south path here. A little bit of a of a cluster if they go forward. I'm not sure if they want to go in there. Maybe they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait for the. They're gonna wait for Team Eljok maybe to come in from there. I don't know if Team Eljok's having any of it though. Team Eljok might be up to the north a bit. Oh, I think Team Eljok came in from the south. I think I'm out of position right now. Yeah, Eljok's coming in from the south right now. Okay, so we've moved sides. Team Raud on the west, Eljok on the east. I'm going to try and stay in the back line here, guys. See what we can see. They got the rabbit down. Good call. Good call. The quarter staff's up front. The casters are just waiting for the engage. Looks like Eljok's going to go in for the first engage. He didn't like what he saw, so he pulled back. Looks like the quarter staff, though. Looking like he's going to... He's going in. He went in for a spin. Eljok gets another three-man stun. There's a point two curse follow-up damage. Here we go. Halo, you need to do an ice block, buddy. You got a lot of damage coming in. Oh, he finally brings it out. He's getting the healing beam. Rod went really deep down there. I can't even see him from my angle. Nilfgaard looks like team... Looks like team... Uh, uh, Eljok is just going to take this one again. Single hand. Just no contest. Oh, a lot of damage down on the Wolf el uh, Elder. Is he going to be able to go down? Eljok interrupting that Warbo to see if he can get the rest of the damage down that he needs. He's popping out as much damage as he can, but he's getting away. Team Eljok looking like they have the, the advantage here. I haven't seen any drops on them yet, and it looks like Raud's about to lose their healer. Team Raud losing their healer. Ooh, fights get stunned. Warbo goes down. Healer goes down. Looks like we have five remaining from Eljok again, and only one remaining from, from Team Raud. Looks like Eljok's going to take another victory. Round one going over to Eljok. I like it. 
Team Rad, looks like they're going to be taking on some of the strats that Eljox team took on the on the first match. They're going in the south end of the map here. They want to make sure that they get that vision for this fight. This is the last one that they have. Demon Eater is going to take take some take some work on this bear for him. Do a little, little, little bit of work. He's going to mount right back out, though. Round taking a little bit of damage. He wants that armor that armor debuff to, to fall off. I don't know if they want to keep pushing right here. Yo, small little island back here that you can run across. Didn't even see that. Could be a bait tactic for a certain team comp. Yeah, I'll try to do this every Saturday if I can, Storm. All right, here we go. Hungry Ghost. I think he just needs to engage before Eljock gets that four-man engage on the back line. Then the back line for Team Round needs to make sure they stay spread apart. If they stay together, look at this. They're going to get oh, two-man stun this time. Oh, the, the quarter staff getting the, the two in the in the corner there. That's going to help a lot. Aislo finally gets the ice block early. He's absorbing a lot of damage. He needs to fall back and now start doing some damage. Eljock, they could focus this guy. He is using a hammer, but he is not a tank. He's using light armor. They're not, they're not going for it, though. They're not taking that bait. H-Low getting focused again and going down every time. H-Low coming out on the bottom end of this fight. No, of course, it looks like they got some pressure going down to him. But I just don't think they have what it takes. Disgraceful needs to make sure that he doesn't get focused here. He's really low. H route maybe gonna get some damage down. A Nilfgaard guy goes down. Team Eljock loses a player. This could be the turning point for Team Round. But I think they've already lost too many. They're down to two players for Team for Team Round. Oh, three people, two people go down for the team Team Eljock. But the last DPS for Team Round goes down. Can this heavy pull out the fight? He has one hammer to take down and a curse staff. This guy can do it. Team Round can pull out on top if this quarter staff. He's gonna get the stun here. No, he misses the stun. Auto attacks. Can he get the Q? He gets the Q down. He's going to get stunned. He's going to get swept. He is really far away. He's got two people to take down. They don't have any healing flasks right now. I don't know if they can pull this out. If they don't have healing flasks, if they have them, they need to do them. They need to use them right now. Eljock running around, though. He's going to see if he can't get... See if he's going to get that mana regen, that health regen. All he needs is one more sprint. One more sprint. Get up there. If he can get this guy down... All he has left is a curse. He gets him down. Team Round might come on top here. He has a curse left to take down. Can this curse pull it out for his team to go on to the finals? Or is Team Round going to live to fight another match? It's a heavy quarter staff versus the point two curse. Can he do it? He's running around. He needs to get those auto attacks down if he's going to have a chance. He gets the stun. He gets the stun. He has one more Q to get the, the, sec the third stun. He gets the stun. He's got 400 life to pull through here. I don't know if he could do it, though. He's got 178 life left. 347. It's going to take one more Q, I think, from Wolfelder, and Wolfelder is going to pull out on top here. Is he going to pull the drain out on him? He pulls the drain out on him and takes him down. Well fought from Team Rao. They almost got the victory to push it to a third match. I'm expecting uh, animal regions in the middle of this match. <laughs> All right, here they are. Here. All right, I'm expecting dip. Oh, they, they moved to an arcane. He's going in for the heavy root. Let's not get hit by that. Migosh is going to go for the stun. Dip's going to go in. Dip's in on fights. I'm going to get off of this. I'm going in for Migosh. Migosh? Going in on Migosh. I'm going to ice block. I'm ice blocking this damage right now. Migosh is in Bonnie Beam. Let's go Migosh. Let's go Migosh. They have no one Bonnie. They have no one Bonnie. I'm sprinting back. You got heals. I'm going to go down. Maybe. Oh, the snipe gets me. Call shot, somebody. Migosh, go Migosh. Fights goes down with his team. He can't see the rest of the battle. Switch over to Fuss.tv. Twitch.tv slash Fuss.tv to watch the rest. How's the rest of his demon's team? Aurora's getting low. Looks like she might go down. Rory is going to go down on this one. <clears throat> Yusuke goes, oh, really close to being down, but he doesn't oh, get taken down no quite game. yet. Silent team. I would get up, but it's against the rules, guys. I can't do that. Yeah, once they took out, uh, our damage was done. We don't need to repair. Are we all down right now? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's all get up, move back to. We're gonna move west.
We don't need to repair, right? Y'all are good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're moving straight into round two, guys. Here we go. Team fights takes the first loss on that one. Team Dip taking the first win. We're gonna update the list right here. Submit scores. There we go. The board has been updated. We're gonna get healed up. We're gonna get topped off. We're gonna talk about this. Can we get them tunneled anywhere? They're gonna be in front of us because they just disappeared from the sir. Your little island? Here. Dropping the glacial. Yeah, double rooted. I weapon we swapped. Yep, yeah, I'm backing up a little bit. I'm just auto attacking. Yo. Oh, yo, what happened? Yeah, I'm. Not... Any of them? Okay. Yeah, I'm going off on fast Eddie. Fast Eddie, he's blocked. Going on Millsmith. That's the arcane. Going back on Evolve. Yo, this guy's gonna drop. This guy's gonna drop. I'm gonna get Evolve. I'm gonna get Evolve. We're still in this. We're Watch still in this. Light back, light back, please. We don't want to die. Migosh. Migosh. I'm going on Migosh, Zeno. Try and get their damage down. I'm going to get away from that. Just keep up. Keep keep hiding. Keep hiding. Let's kite. Let's regroup. Yo, this dip's about to drop off of his giant. I'm out of mana. Ah. I'm going to run west. I'm going to run west. I'm going to healing flask. I'm going to healing flask. Can we regroup up to the north side? Can you? Ow, dip hurts. Can you channel any uh, man at no, all? We're gonna lose this. I have no man. Okay. And I'm CC. GG. Where you at, Zeno? I'm north. I'm with them. There's no. I don't think there's a point, but. Yeah, you can't really be in front where when. We're engaging. Yeah, so. I think you just need and to back if up. You're gonna sprint, you need to sprint and move out and not just walk. Yo, Fights is gonna try and take the rest of their team on, on his own. Can he do it? Yeah, I sprinted out. I think they didn't catch me at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right guys team round forfeited the third place team fights gets the third place trophy this round congrats team fights all right guys we're gonna move on to the finals accepting bets now that's what we could do oh dude that's per oh i should have been doing bets this whole time guys 50% payout. Start betting, guys. Bets are open. Here we go. Let's put some bets down on the table. I like it. Yo, Team Dip's getting all the bets right now. Let's see if Team Dip can take round one. All right, guys. We got the first round of the finals underway. Eljox team. This hammer's been devastating. This guy's got 3K health. He's in white armor. They just can't take him down. Let's see if, if the dip, the battle of the hammers, what's better, the great hammer or the or the base tier hammer? We're going to find out coming up. Here we go. The engages are coming. The hammers are staring each other down. The arcane going in for his root. Who's he picking out? He gets nobody. He gets the hammer. The hammer walks into it. What's going to happen? Dip's going deep on the back line. The hammer, he slept the arcane, but dip is just doing way too much damage on their DPS and dip is taking them down. Team Eljock is taking their first death. But Dip, is he? did he stay too long? Dip, oh, trade for trade right now. Trade for trade. We have a 4v4, but we have Eljock's team still getting some stuns down. Ooh, they got one of Eljock's legs in the background, in the back line. He goes down. We got a healing pot coming out of Eveling. I don't think he's he's too, away from, he's too far from his healer. He's too far. Migosh, is, I think, is just going to take him down with the Warbow stun. Here it goes. Team Dip, I think, is going to take round one. What do we have? It is 3v2 right now. Two Nilf cards still remaining. The Eljock is still alive. The Invani Beam coming out on Evo. I don't think Wolfhelder is not going to be able to take this one. Team Dip taking round one. They only had one death there. Taking it pretty convincingly. All right, guys. I don't think we need any repairs after that one. I think we should be able to jump in right into round two. Team Dip currently 1-0 on Team Eljock. Eldrock was winning all their matches pretty convincingly. I guess Team Dip has been too. 
Let's see what happens on round two here. Yo, rip the shivs, team dip. Taking the win right there. He will win, win round two, everybody. Congrats on the shivs. All the winners right there. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to have a two-minute bet timer, guys. Get them in quick. We're going to move the max bet up to 350 this time, guys. Max bet is going to be 350. All right, guys, we're going to get this next match started in just a minute. We'll get going. We got some bets coming on the table. We got four for Team Dip and two for Eldrock. We got some people thinking Team Eldrock's going to make a comeback here. Let's we'll see what happens. Here we go, guys. Round two underway. It looks like we're going to go down the bottom again. Eldrock leading the charge. Let's see what they can do differently this time. Last time, they just their backline just got targeted way too quick. I think Eldrock needs to avoid that arcane this time around. He walked into that stun. He wasn't able to get back into their backline to interrupt their damage. And Varric felt every single minute of it. I'm pretty sure he went down quick. Let's see. They're leaning in with Mill Smith. He's going in for the root. He gets Wolf Elder this time. Is Wolf Elder going to drop Will real quick? Eldrock running straight into that arcane. Gets the sleep on him. Gets the AoE stun on the Migosh. Meanwhile, on the backline, Dip is just going ham on Varric. I'm going to move out of here. I don't want to get dropped. Yo, Varric actually getting some decent heals. Dip having an ice block early while he's in his stance still. We got some, we got a battle going on right here right now. Migash, get the power beam. Who's he going for? He loses the power beam before he gets any damage off. He might be way too deep. He's taking a lot of damage. He got some Vani on him though. I don't think that ice block is up. Migash is really low. Evelyn going back on Dip. Dip does not have his giant steps right now. He is in a bad spot getting a lot of damage right now. Eldrock deep in this team. He's getting kind of focused right now, though. Let's see. Oh, Dip gets the, the new giant steps up. He is really low, though. Evo taking a lot of damage. This is a battle of the ages right here. Round two. Who's going to get the first kill? Dip staying alive. So much sustain on these teams. Eldrock, is he going to get dropped? He blinks away. He's going he's gonna to need to get healed up. They got a lot of damage. Oh, Evo drops. Fights doesn't see the kill, but Evo is dead in the back. Dip takes a little bit of a focus, but he ice blocks preemptively to block a lot of damage. Milf. Giving the power beam to Migosh. Getting a lot of damage on to Eldrock. But there's no follow-up. Evelyn taking down Dip. Dip's going to go down. That's two for Titans. And all of Eldrock's team is currently up. Brownick, is he going to be able to keep his friends up and be able to do a little bit of damage? It looks like Migosh is going to go down. Brannick, he's trying to get some energy regen. But it's not going to be enough. It's him and Arcane out. There's no way they're going to take this team. Eldrock's going to take round two. They're going to even it up at singles right now. We got a battle going on right now, guys. A battle. There's only one remaining. It's the Arcane. He's going to be the last to be taken down, as he should. Rip the bets, boys. Team Eldrock taking round two. All right. Congrats to the Shivs, to Alpe and Cub Jr. Believing in their teammates. Well done, guys. Round three. We're going to up the bets from 350 to 500 this time. We're going to up the bets 500. I'm going to give you five minutes to place bets, guys. We're going to start those bets right now. Let's see what happens. We got some repairs going on. So we have a little bit of intermission, guys. At least five minutes of intermission here. A lot of bets coming up on this one. Ooh, it is five for Eldrock and five for Dip right now. Even bets across the board. I like it. Right now, Team Dip is one-to-one -one with Team Eldrock. We're getting the repairs in right now. We might be ready to go. Let's see what we have going on. Here we go, guys. Round three getting underway here. Team Dip, let's see if they can turn turn what happened last time. Let's see if they can fix it. I think I think it was just a well-fought battle. I'm not sure. We got a couple of AoE stuns on the back line there that they need to start spreading out for. They see Eldrock. They need to get away. Mill Smith, they're going to keep to the same strat. I think Mill Smith's just going to charge in here, go for a route, and see what he can get. He's just trying to pick out one DPS for them to focus right now. See what happens. He sees their team. He goes in. He gets the Eldrock. Eldrock, his team's backing out from away from him. Get some heals. Damage on Migosh. The power beam on the Warbow. They're dropping Eldrock right now. He's going to get the, the armor. He's going in deep. He's going to try and get an AoE stun here. He gets the, the Invani beam, but the Invani beam uh, comes in with Ice Block. Migosh gets dropped, though. Oh, man. Bronick going to be the next target, it looks like. But it looks like he's going to Ice Block that damage right now. He's got the hot sticking in. Dip. He's trying to stay on top of Eldrock, trying to get him off of his healer. Eldrock is just going deep, though. There's not a lot of safety for him. The Warbow is helping him kite. But the, the Nilf card team, Eldrock, is just not low right now. Ramsey's is the lowest, and they're just pushing them down. Do we already have two deaths on the side of Team Dip? I didn't see that second death, but it looks like it's going to be down to a 3v5 right now. I think it's just a matter of time. Evo's going to go down. I think it's just the healer left right now. Brandon looks like he's going to go down, guys. 
Yo, Team Eldra going to go ahead and take it to two wins. Oh, what? I think we got some... I think we got someone in the background. No, no, it's... uh Okay, it's 2v3 right now? 2v4. 2v3? I don't know, man. This shoutcasting right now. Grade A. Brannick trying to get as much healing up as he can, but it's... Well, once again, it's just down. It's just down to the holy... Or the arcane and the nature. Just a matter of time before these two get picked off. Who are they going to focus? I think they need to focus that nature. Nature's going to go down. He's getting shields, though. He finally goes down. Team Eljock, the seven. The viewers were right. Team Eljock, go ahead and takes round three. All right, guys, round four. We're going to move up to 750 shivs for this bet. Who's going to take round four, everybody? I'm going to give you all three minutes to vote because or to bet because we have a lot. We're going to go ahead and move into this match ASAP. Round four of the finals. Getting started. In three, two, one. Here we go, everybody. Bets should be closing. Bites is drinking one shot per one dollar. Donate. PK27. Don't get their hopes up, man. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to end up like that guy from last night, man. Okay, so he uh, he drank a little bit too much last night. I am not. I'm not going for that. But uh, but here we go. <laughs> We're underway, boys. We are underway. Millsmith getting a little bit of the advantage of the down screen. I'm gonna hang back a little bit to see what happens here. I think, I think Titans want. I want. They want them to blow their suns this time. Milf's been running in. I think they're gonna change up what they've been doing a little bit. Milf. I think he sees his engage. He sees his opportunity. He's gonna hold off a little bit. He got slowed. He's eating the slow right now by this hammer. It's just the Q though. He's not blowing any. Uh, important cooldowns yet. These warbows are just gonna do a little bit of damage. They can bob and weave all day right now. They can bob and weave all day. Hey, keep throwing down that, that poke on Eljock. If he keeps taking this poke, he could run his healer, Oom, on mana. Now Milf taking a little bit of poke. Milf going in for the root. He misses it on their Warbo target that he wanted. Gets the power beam on his on Evo. But they are sitting in that point two curse. Those Warbos need to get out of there. They took a lot of damage. Milf needs to fall back. Brannick, he got a little bit out of position. Ice blocks with the Invani beam. I don't think, I think the Titans are going to go down here. There's a lot of dots on Migosh right now. He needs to get heals from his healer, but his healer's also taking a lot of damage. This healer goes down. Eljock looks like they're going to take this fight and run with it. Team Titans, they just... Team Titans. Team Titans. Team Titans just looked like they weren't able to get together what they wanted, and it fell apart when they took a lot of curse damage. All right, guys. Looks like our finals winners are going to be the Nilfgaard Team Eljock. They have one more person to hunt down back here, I believe. Someone did a little bit of running. Looks like it's a Warbo, but he looks like he's going to go down. Team Fights is going to take 500k away from their efforts today, taking third place. Give it up for Team Fights. 100k a pop for their players. Team Dips going to take on 1 mil, 200k for each of their players. And Nilfgaard is going to have a bounty of 3.75 mil to sprint amongst their members. Team Donkey. Max plays to sign up for this. I'm gonna have uh, more information on that in just a few minutes, guys. Hang out, and I'm gonna go ahead and get scheduled for the next week and when we're gonna do this, okay, guys? So if y'all would just chill for a few minutes, I'm gonna give out the earnings to these winners, and uh, I'll give y'all more information on how to do this for next week. Yo, the victory 307, 3.75 mil, guys. This final prize money is gonna go up with the more contestants we have. So come and compete, guys. Come and compete. Dip doubling their money down. Congrats to Team Dip. Here we go. Hey, guys, I got to give a shout out. I fucking, I can't remember his Twitch name, guys, but we had a 10,000 uh, gold donation, which was already factored into the prize money. That was about 1.75 mil, which is why we had an odd number there. So thank you. Uh, I'll have to go back into the stream and find out who that was, but... Thanks for everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember, free for all tomorrow. Thanks for watching the uh, the stream, guys. Amazing. It's awesome. Great turnout.